Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Microsoft Excel is one of the most powerful tool for organizing and analyzing data. Whether you are managing budgets, creating reports, or building dashboards, everywhere Microsoft Excel can be helpful. And you might know this, if you are giving a presentation in your organization and showing the analysis and the numbers or the trends over the period of time based on your data, it can be a really helpful tool. And also it's come with a lot of calculations and sometimes these calculations are so complex then it might end up with a lot of formulas and it is not pretty easy and at last it can be really frustrating as well managing all those formulas right but there could be a better way to do these things right and i think there is and we can do that let me show you and in this video i will show you how you can build a assistant using ai and llm framework to answer your question about your excel or csv this assistant will be built on top of Langchain, which is a LLM framework, along with ChatGPT from OpenAI, which is a model released by OpenAI. And the data frame we are using, Pandas data frame, which you know it's one of the popular libraries in Python, which is used for calculation in Excel and uh, formulas, uh, mathematical formulas as well, right? So, all right, so this is a simple assistant which I have built, and let me show you how it works. As the name suggests, Excel CSV question answering system, which will take Excel and CSV both the files. You just go and click on browse files. In the browse files, you can act, choose any of the files which you have on your desktop or on your laptop. Open it. Once you open it, automatically it will read the file and it will give you a data preview. You can select one of the sheets if there are multiple sheets because I have one. So it is selected that. And now simply go and ask your question. So here I'm going to ask what are the total revenue by each product okay and it will analyze the excel and come out with the total revenues based on each product so now it is analyzing the data and now here you see these numbers so there are total these many laptops these many smartphones these many tablets and you know these many accessories it's pretty simple and straightforward ask your question get the answers that's it no calculation you have to do no formula you have to crunch down it's all been taken care by this assistant itself okay let me ask you another question so let's say what are the percentage of sales let's say uh, of total sales okay now let's wait for the answer here the application will process the query in the natural language and just run the uh, LLM at the back and here you can get the answer. Pretty cool, right? And that's it. That's all you need to generate analytics out of your Excel and CSV file in just few clicks. All right. Okay. Now let's get into the technical details and I'll show you a quick demo how this application is being created and how this assistant I have created it from Langchain and OpenAI ChatGPT4. All right, so let's get back to our application. So this is our application, okay? As you can see, the header itself says Excel CSV question answering system. And if you see the URL, the URL itself says AI analysis QA dot streamlit dot app. And AI analysis QA is the name of the application, and streamlit dot app is the hosting platform where the application has been hosted so that it can be. Uh, publicly available to everybody i'll just refresh the page and let's get back to the application let's get started so now first you see once you land on this application it will ask you to enter your email address right so here i'm going to add enter the email address i'll type pankaj at gmail.com this is my email and once you enter you click submit email button once you click the button the application will redirect you to the next page here this is your landing page and the ui is pretty simple and straightforward now the first step is you need to upload the excel file so browse and you can it will open the dialog box in your desktop or laptop whatever you are using and then you can just simply click and open but let me show you first how the excel file look like so if you see this is the excel file this is a sample excel file which we're going to use in this application in this demo and then you see there are dates and then product, region, unit, uh, revenue, and uh, customer satisfaction, right? And now what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna analyze entire data. And if you see, if I, if I show you all the numbers which is available here, like in product, you can see we have accessories, laptops, smartphone, tablets. And then if we go to the region section, there are four regions, uh, east, north, southwest. Similarly, in the other columns also, we have these uh, numbers available. 
and in revenue also we have this dollar value available and then in the last section is the customer satisfaction this is the customer satisfaction score uh, which is uh, uh associated with every category or every product right so okay so this is all about the excel file let's go back to application and let us process this excel file okay so now i click on browse file and i will select this sample dot underscore data dot xls from my desktop and now you can see the file has been processed now and the sheet is also showing up as you can see i have one sheet only sales so here you can see i am working on one worksheet only if you have multiple worksheets it will come up in the list and you can select that now here you can see the data preview is also coming up in the data preview you can see like you know how the data is look like it's just give you top three four rows so that you can understand like it is the correct excel file you are referring to or maybe the sheet right so once you uh, confirm like this is the correct data then you can go and ask your questions okay in at the bottom you can see a test box is available and here the label says ask a question about your data right now go ahead and ask your question so we'll ask one question what are the total revenue by each product and also we will validate whether the numbers are correct or not okay so now it is analyzing our data and now you can see the numbers have been presented so here uh, the total revenue generated by each product is laptop smartphones tablet and accessories the numbers are already presented here and this is will also give you a clear explanation that what this answer is all about okay now let's get back to our excel and verify like whether this numbers are correct or not so i'll go and create a pivot chart out, out of it and uh, because i don't need the chart i will delete the chart part and then only i need the table uh, so yeah let's drag the product in the row section and the uh, revenue in the value section okay so now as you can see the revenue are the total sum so we ask the total sales right so now this total sale will showed by the sum function okay so now here you can see the total sale for accessories laptops smartphones are mentioned and we can easily validate whether these numbers are correct or not so let me put this side by side and we can calculate uh, and actually validate this okay so here we can see accessories have 127227.68 and also we see the accessories have the same number over here let's go validate the laptops for this one now the laptop have these numbers and if we go to the laptop i can see the same number is coming in the our application as well now in the smartphone also we have the number and the smartphone application also showing the same number this means the application is working correct right the calculation what is happening in the, the application in the assistant is absolutely right and whatever the question we have asked the answer what we got is absolutely correct right now let's go and ask one more question and this time i'll make it little complex now instead of asking some question let's ask some percentage based question so now what i will do is like uh, what are the percentage of total uh, sales for each product let's say okay now instead of just giving the sum number it has to do some calculation uh, division or percentage and then it will come out with the numbers so here you can see now we got the response now if we break down the total sales for each product so here is the total uh, percentage for each product so accessories 2% laptop 47% smartphone 29.66% tablet 2449% now also the explanation has been mentioned over here that the percentage shows how much each product contribution to the total sales let's go back to our excel and validate whether this calculation is uh, correct or not or the response which we got from the assistant is correct or not so we go to the excel file again and as you can see that you know uh, laptop makes up nearly half of the total sales this is also one of the good analysis which is being generated by the assistants it's one of the most powerful thing okay now right click on here how do we do it we right click here in the excel file show value as percentage of the grand total okay we click here and automatically it will show at the grand total percentage as you can see the accessories are two percent and absolutely two percent we can get over here as well for the laptop also it is showing 47 percent it is perfectly matching right so this is the beauty of this assistant you do not have to do any of the formula or complex calculation at the back end you just have to come here upload your excel file and start asking questions and straight away you, you will get the answers and you can see how powerful this application is it will save you a lot of time of creating complex calculations or writing formulas for excel file and getting your answers right i mean it is in an initial phase but yeah it is working and we can make it more complex or maybe more handling more scenarios as you can say this is hosted on the streamlit application streamlit is a platform where you can host your python application and at the back end if you see in the manage app 
at the bottom uh, left you can see these are the calculation happening at the back end now let's get back to the code repo i have deployed the code on github and uh, my repo name is analysis app and pky code is my github account in this i have two repo which is rag app i have already created an application using rag app this is for pdf you can just upload a pdf and just ask question and answer here you can see this is the application uh, video you can go and check it out on my channel now we will talk about the analysis app here in this this is made for excel and csv files and specifically we can do q a on top of it we have just seen the demo right i will go inside the analysis app and i'll show you one by one that what this is all about and this is a readme file where all the instructions have been mentioned how you can use this application and uh, you can see the features are like it support both excel and csv a multi sheet you can if you have multiple sheet in your excel or csv file you can use that it's a natural language it will give you an instant data analysis accurate uh, number and calculations and also it's a user friendly you can clone the repo and you can you know uh, just start playing with it but make sure you enter your own api key because i have not shown that api key it's it is particular to me these are some example questions it is just for reference and from the technology perspective i am using streamlit streamlit is a web interface which has been used langchain is the LLM framework which has been used in this application OpenAI GPT 3.5 whether we are using GPT 4 actually not 3.5 and pandas pandas is basically used for the data manipulation we are not using rag because rag is best suited for unstructured data not for structured data now if you talk about the requirements file in the requirement.txt you can get all the details what are the dependency which been used if you click the requirement.txt you can see like all these dependency you need to install before you start working or using this applications now let me go back to the actual code here you can see i have imported all the dependencies which is required for this application to process langchain framework you can see we are using here openai and experimental agents and then there are pandas framework dependencies which is basically used for the calculation of whatever the question you asked then i have a mongo client so mongo client is basically a mongo db database where when you enter the email at the first uh, page like you know once you land and you enter your email the email gets saved into our cl uh, cloud database which is i am using mongodb and let me show you how the cloud database looks like uh, this is my mongodb instance where i have already uh, set up my rack cluster rack cluster is the name of my cluster and inside that i have the database configured uh, where all the detail will be saved as you can see the rack cluster name is mentioned over here and then you can see excel analyzer db is my database name i have another database called rag app db that is for pdf so let's go back to the excel analyzer db we have two collection names one is user and one is questions in the questions you will see whatever the question has been asked by the user and in the user you will see the email address which the user provide you know at the interface so now uh, the user, the email address has been saved here and in the questions if i go and click over here you can see what the question we have asked so we we have asked about the total revenue here the response has been already saved in the database and also uh, my second question is about the percentage total sales that has also been saved over here right so this is how you can save the uh, details or anybody who is interacting with their applications i have you can also save it in the database itself i am using open py excel just to analyze and work with excel file and csv for this application the first step is to add the api key you will you can get it from the chat gpt uh, website and use your own api key over here how to create that i have discussed in a separate video you can check it out and these are different functions like validate email or log email in your database where you can actually go and log the details regarding your email into your mongodb database then also there's uh, another uh, function which talks about the questions what you use uh, ask basically to the application so that has also been uh, logged into the database uh, how the file has been loaded so all these functions are basically created so that you know you can easily handle all different cases in this application and now you can also see this is one of the important function called create agent here you actually define the template how the agent should respond to your question right there is a prefix where you will say like a start with a brief explanation and then present the numerical result clearly now point three and four you can look at it and also there is an example how a good answer should look like so this is a template how our assistant will understand that how i have to respond now the last one is the main function where it is more kind of defining the 
total layout of the UI and how it will interact with the user. And this is a very long function, although it mentioned all the details that how it, the UI will look like and everything. And last is calling our main function. So this is the entire code, how the assistant is working. And we have used Langchain LLM framework and open AI API key uh, model. We are using chat GPT-4 and this is how the assistance is if i go back to my repo again and this rag app you can check it out is for pdf and analysis app it for excel and csv file all right so this is all about the analysis app and how you can interact in a very smart way with your excel and csv file thank you for watching the video till the last if you have any questions or suggestions please drop them in the comments and if this video have added any value to you so please like and subscribe to my channel and these are some more suggestions if you want to explore my channel I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.